Are you thinking of visiting Pompeii, Italy? Well, today we're going to give you 12 things that you want to avoid if you want to make your trip to Pompeii even more amazing. Now, we live in Italy and we, we love, love going to Pompeii, right? I mean, it's such an amazing, amazing place. place. And for this reason, we came up with 12 things that you should not do in Pompeii if you want to have a wonderful visit. But not only that, we're also going to give you some tips to plan your trip, what to wear, how to get there, when to go, and of course, what to do when you get there. Absolutely. Also, if you need more information about Pompeii or visiting Italy in general, you can visit our website, readysetitaly.com. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm Rick. And I'm Andrea. And today I will tell you the thing that you should not do when visit Pompeii. But first, if you like travel related videos like this one, now is a great, it's a perfect time to hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss any future videos. In the series as Absolutely. well, right? So let's begin with our first don'ts of Pompeii, and that's... Don't rush. In Pompeii. In Pompeii, of course. Pompeii is a very big site, and there's a lot to see there. For this reason, we strongly recommend you to take your time. Take the opportunity to explore and really immerse yourself in the life of the ancient Romans. Yeah, people actually live there. Absolutely. For, th for this reason, we strongly suggest you not to use a taxi to go to Pompeii. Mm -hmm. Let us explain you why. Taxi will take you from Naples to Pompeii and back for a flat fee or 100 euros at the time of recording. Mm -hmm. Taking the taxi would be very easy and convenient to go to Pompeii, but with this particular fare, you will only have two hours to visit Pompeii. And in our opinion, this is not enough time. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a good idea. Yeah, it's convenient, but there's not enough time in the site. The alternative would be either to take the train from Naples to Pompeii or to negotiate a fare with a taxi driver yeah, before, before yeah. you get into the taxi yeah. for a longer stay at the site. Taking the train from Naples to Pompeii, it's easy. You can go to Pom Napoli, Porta, Nolana train station and take the train towards Sorrento and get off the train at the Pompeii Scavi train station. Mm -hmm. The train runs approximately every 36 minutes and it takes 32 minutes from Naples to Pompeii. The cost at the time of recording is €2.60 per person one way. You can buy the ticket at the train station, but don't forget to validate the ticket before getting on the train. Yeah, and uh, if you're not sure how to do it, just ask at the ticket counter and they'll be happy to help. Yeah, absolutely. Lastly, some of the trains are quite old and a little run down, but they're perfectly safe, so don't be scared about the look of the train. It's better than you think. Yeah, and uh, you can use the time to actually take a nap while you're Absolutely. on the train. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to our next don'ts of Pompeii, and that's don't go without your tickets. Mm -hmm. Pompeii is one of the most famous archaeological sites in the world, and for this reason, it's visited by tens of thousands of tourists every single day. And because of this, it's extremely important that you buy your entry ticket in advance so that you can skip the line. Well, even better, buy the skip the line tickets in advance so that you avoid the long lines at the ticket office. Absolutely. And we will leave a link, as usual, in the description for the best skip the line tickets to buy in Pompeii. Yeah. Remember, last time we visited Pompeii, it was 40 degrees outside, you know, and there was this long line, and it would not be fun waiting there under the hot sun, absolutely uh, you know, not. absolutely. All right, so time to explore our next tip on our list of things not to do in Pompeii, and that's hire a guide. guide. It's better to have a guide. We know that guided tour can be boring and sometimes it's better to walk around and explore the site on your own. However, in Pompeii, we strongly recommend you to get a guided tour. Mm -hmm. In fact, in Pompeii, there are so many details to see that only an expert guy is able to explain and point out to you. Yep. If you don't have a guide, well, you would miss a lot of these little details and your visit would not be complete. Mm -hmm. Last time we visited Pompeii, we hired a guide for two hours, and without the guide, we were not would not be able to know what this little thing was up here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, what is it? Well, that was an old electoral campaign. <laughs> oh. Can you believe it? After the Gaudi tour, we continue around on our own and we saw what we want to see. In case you're on a budget and you want to spend money for the guide, you can use the audio guide or download the My Pompeii app. Mm -hmm. The app is not the best, but it's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, we normally don't get guides, but for Pompeii, definitely get one. Absolutely. All right, so let's move on to our next don't of Pompeii, and it's don't go in the summer <laughs> if, if you, you can. can. Exactly. <laughs> In Pompeii, there is practically no shade, right? Mm -hmm. And in the middle of the summer, as we said earlier, the temperatures can be really hot, right? It's not yeah. unusual to get to 40 Celsius, and that's 104 Fahrenheit for yeah. our American friends, uh, in the middle of the day in, in July and August. For this reason, those two months are really not ideal to visit Pompeii. Now, if you can only go in the summer, then avoid going to Pompeii in the middle of the day, yep. right? Try to go first thing in the morning when temperatures are milder. A little milder, yeah. And this brings us to our next don't of Pompeii, and that's don't forget to wear a hat, sunscreen, and bring water. <laughs> As you said before, there's very little shade in Pompeii. For this reason, don't forget to wear a hat to protect your head. Otherwise, you get sunstroke. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, if you... Yep. Yeah. Also, don't forget to apply sunscreen to avoid sunburn and bring some water with you. Mm -hmm. It's not unusual to see people passing out for the dehydration in Pompeii mm -hmm. in the summer. Mm -hmm. So, you can also buy water inside the side at the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. In the same coffee shop, you can also buy snacks, and sandwiches. Keep in mind that around lunchtime, those coffee shops can be really busy, so yeah. avoid the big pick Yeah, and the coffee shops are where the bathrooms are, yes, so but that's just a bathroom around the sides. Yeah. All right, so moving on to our next don't of Pompeii, and we're gonna talk about don't wear flip-flops. Flip -flops. <laughs> right, so when you visit Pompeii, the only way to get around is by walking and you will be getting your 10,000 steps in Pompeii, yep. let me tell you. For this reason, make sure to wear very comfortable shoes. Avoid the flip-flops, the sandals. I love the flip-flops and the sandals. Avoid the high heel shoes because you're gonna be walking on very uneven surfaces. You'll also have uh, you know, gravel roads to walk on as well, so be careful and watch your steps. Yep. Now, Listen very carefully. If you have mobility issues or you're in a wheelchair, you will want to know that there is a Pompeii for All itinerary specifically designed to be accessible for folks in a wheelchair. And of course, we're going to go ahead and leave a link in the description for more about this particular feature because we think that it is very, very important. very important, especially if you're coming from a cruise ship from Naples yeah. or something like that, you too can visit. Next up, we have don't bring big bags with you. Mm, no, don't. no, no. <laughs> As we mentioned in our previous tip, you will have to walk a lot in Pompeii. For this reason, you don't want to carry big bags with you. Mm -hmm. Also, due to the fact that it might be really hot in Pompeii, you don't want to carry a backpack on your mm -hmm. back when you visit Pompeii, mm -hmm. because otherwise you're gonna sweat mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. You can leave your bags at the bag deposit at the, that's located at each one of the entrance of the sites. The mm -hmm. bag deposit, they're secure, yeah. leave your bag there, and then move around yeah. freely in the Pompeii. So, moving on our next list of don't of Pompeii, and this is... Don't, don't litter. litter. No, seriously, don't litter. It makes me so mad when I see that. Pompeii is an incredible site, and you don't want to ruin it. So please don't litter. Um, there's garbage bins all over the place and recycling bins. You just please use that. And also, if you're a smoker, um, you'll need to go to the designated smoking areas if you want to have a cigarette. There's also several bathrooms that are available inside the archaeological site for you to use. Yeah. And while we're on the topic of litter, um, some things at Pompeii might look like, you know, they were just litter, right? They're worthless, but they aren't. So don't, don't take souvenirs. <laughs> it's true. People do. Yeah. 
Taking anything from the site is highly legal and will result in huge fines or worse. So mm -hmm. don't take anything from the site. Yeah. Take a photo instead, or if you want to buy a souvenir, go to the gift shop inside of the site. Yeah, I mean, you'd think we don't have to say this, but, but I mean, it's... Yeah. People get in trouble all the time. All right, so time for our next don't of Pompeii, and we're going to talk about don't skip Herculaneum. Absolutely. Don't skip Herculaneum. Pompeii is probably one of the most famous archaeological sites in the world, but just a few kilometers away, you have another site that is probably even more interesting than Pompeii. Mm, and it probably won't be as busy, awesome. Absolutely. Herculaneum is the other Roman city that was destroyed by the same eruption that destroyed Pompeii in 79 AD. Mm -hmm. In Herculaneum, you will see some ancient warehouse where the inhabitants try to get away from the eruption and try to save themselves. Yeah, it's very sad. Yeah, it's very sad, but it's very interesting. In there, you can see hundreds of skeletons of the people that were trying to escape, and they were stuck in there in yeah. the disaster. Yeah. Also in Ercolegno, we'll be able to see some incredible Roman fresco in some of the houses that, in our opinion, are even more fascinating than the one you can see in Pompeii. Right, because they are more, even better preserved yeah. than, uh, than Pompeii. Yeah, bottom line, try to visit both sides and have a full picture of how the Romans used to live 2,000 years ago. And uh, pro tip, or th they lived very well. Yeah. <laughs> As we mentioned, the two sides are relatively close to each other, and it's totally possible to see them in both days. Mm -hmm. Both in one day. Both in yeah, one day. For sure. Yeah. I, I recommend it, actually. Yeah. We did it. And if you want to know more about this, Herculaneum, check out the video up here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, so let's move on to our next Don'ts of Pompeii. And uh, that's going to be, don't try to do everything yeah. in one day. When you check for tours of Pompeii online, you're going to see that many tours um, offer uh, Pompeii, Sorrento, the Amalfi Coast, all in one day. Mm -hmm. And these are not good tours. Yeah. We did one of those tours. You remember a few years, years ago? ago? Yeah. At the end of the day, you're exhausted and you don't care about anything else. Yeah. You'd be spending most of your day in the car or the bus and have you have very little time in Pompeii. Yeah. We think that it's way better to do two or three separate tours instead. That way you'll have a much better time in Pompeii and the, and, Amalfi, Coast, and the Amalfi Coast and Vesuvius and yeah. all of these other areas. And last but not least on our list of don't do this in Pompeii is don't skip Naples. Yeah. If you ever travel to Pompeii, chances are that you be, your base camp is the wonderful city of Naples. In our opinion, it would be a shame if you don't spend at least one day mm -hmm. visiting and exploring Naples. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a wonderful city and the city center is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Also in Naples, you have the, some of the best food that Italy has to offer. Mm -hmm. So, if you can keep one day to visit Naples, you won't be disappointed. No, I promise you. And uh, if you do go to Naples and you enjoy it, please give us a like on this Absolutely. video. Well, folks, that's what we have for you today. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something, right? As usual, uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. We love to hear from you uh, and answer your questions the best way we can. And of course, if you happen to see us out and about, please come and say hello, hello or hi, because we love meeting you all. And it happens all the time. Yeah. In the meantime, we will see you in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.